Yeah, it's just a radiator guard. But you're probably here for a for a discussion on Barbie. Well, I pulled her into the front yard last night. And I locked her up with the uh, disc lock and put a brick under it. But when I pulled it over here, when I first pulled in, as you can see by the mud on the tire, I thought, oh, this is an excellent opportunity to show you life in the Great Plains. So, I got me a steel rod, and that's as far down as I can push it. And keep in mind, this ground has been tilled up several times, where I keep trying to get zoysia grass grown. And, uh, we'll see how far down. What happens is, is we get this warm weather, and the snow melts, but the water lines have to be three feet down, so it's below the frost, the freeze line. So we're looking at two, two and a half inches. before I hit the freeze line. So what happens is, is this snow melts and it's absorbed by that three inches of thawed out land. And then uh, it just sits on top. And that's how we get our flooding. But since we get snow, small amounts, still over there, it thaws out and then, uh, and then it melts and it goes down into the, what dirt there is. But with the temperatures that we had, it's still all pretty froze up. So, that's what happens. Just thought I'd share that with you. Not much sun today. We're at 50 degrees right now and the temperature's already starting to drop and we're gonna get one to three inches of snow tonight. And by the end of by tomorrow at this time, we'll have three inches and uh, the temperature is eventually going to drop down to 22 degrees again. So I'm not real much in a hurry to get Barbie back out there, but I have to get her out and into the driveway or I won't be able to plow snow tomorrow. So we're going to go with blue radiator screens this time and I'm gonna stripe it with white probably so all right just a little update talk to you later